In this tutorial, I will teach you how to edit Star Sector settings to change important aspects of the game. Everything will be timestamped below, so feel free to skip ahead to the part that you need. In order to change the settings in the settings.json file, we are going to need to navigate over to the Star Sector Prime directory. The method is the same for Windows, Linux, and Mac, but I have this on Windows, so we're going to be showing that one today. In my instance, the game is installed under my local disk, Program Files 86 by Fractal Softworks Star Sector, after that, you're going to head over to Star Sector Core, Data, and then Config. This will show you several tags that you can actually edit. This is very useful, but today we're looking at the settings.json file. Something I recommend you do before cha making any changes to this file is to save a copy somewhere else. So we're going to hit Control C, click onto the desktop, and just paste it over there for safekeeping. Once you have your file securely backed up, you can go ahead and open up settings.json and start making changes. Before we start, there are two very important aspects to note. There are two segments to this file. The first part cannot be affected by mods, however you can make changes. This is important because the latter part of the file can be affected by mods. What this means in practice is that you might make a change here and you notice that it's not being reflected in game, that's probably because a mod you've installed is overwriting your change. There are many kinds of variables in the settings.json file, but the two that you're going to interact with the most will be booleans and integers. Booleans are either set to true or false, meaning yes or no, on or off. If you set something to true, it is enabled. If you set something to false, it is disabled. An easy example of this to see is the fog of war. If set to true, on the battle map you will not be able to see all enemy ships. If it is set to false, on the battle map you will be able to see all enemy ships. Here is an integer value. This is just a simple number. Changing this will change the number value in game. Right now, we can see that we can change the flux per capacitor from a base of 200 per one point spent to, let's say, 400. We can literally double the ability to add flux. Or you could go ahead and do something even more insane and change the zero flux engine boost to like 500, meaning that with a second you don't have any flux, you're zooting across the map. Now, as you can see, there are literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of settings in this file. This video could not possibly teach you how to edit all of them, so instead I'm going to give you my top five. In order to find these values in this forest of settings, we're going to make use of the find function. You could either press Control F to bring up the find bar and type in a term that you think the, uh, the value will contain, in this case admins for me. There we go, there's base max admins. Or alternatively, you can head over to the edit tab, click find, and type it in that way if you like a bit more of a challenge. Our base number of officers is going to be the next one we want to search up. As you can see, I've set that to 20. This lets me have 20 officers to max out. Now, in the base game, you're only allowed 30 ships, so that's, that's kind of ridiculous. Maybe you want to go a little higher. In order to get to that, we're going to want to find max ships in fleet. This is probably my favorite setting in the game. Max ships in fleet being over here. Base game is 30, I've set it to 60, so double that. Max ships in AI fleet has also been increased to 60 in order to balance things out a little bit. Otherwise, it's not very fair. Max officers in AI fleet, as a honorable mention, has also been up to 20, and this is pretty much so that, as the game suggests, it should match what a skilled player can get. Now, in order to field all those new ships, you're probably going to want to get them onto the actual battlefield. In order to do that, we need to change the max battle size. This allows us to deploy more ships at a time. In base game, I believe this is set to 600. I have upped it to 2000. These two values are not important. This simply changes the bottom end of the slider in the options menu, as well as to what the game defaults to at start. But it doesn't matter for us because we're going to increase the maximum. That is what matters. This also affects the AI, by the way. Be careful. And as I showed earlier, we're probably going to need a big empire in order to manage all these ships and uh, keep them all fed. So we're going to want to increase the number of admins. Now, as you can see, I click down and it says it can't find that. That's because it's probably above. There it is. We have set that to 15. We can go crazy and make that like 80. Now we can run 80 admins across 80 worlds, allowing us to function pretty much autonomously without the need for AI. If, of course, you break something by mistake and would like to revert it, simply copy your former settings.json 
and replace the file in this destination. Anyway guys, that has been how to mod Star Sector settings.json. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe. There will be many more of these tutorials coming along. If there are any other features of the game that you would like to see explained, please leave a comment down below with your suggestion or your request. And I will see you in the next one. Cheers.